Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Greg, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about sample data generation, using the power of AI to create sample data in your record types. Now, don't forget, like, subscribe, and comment to see more videos like this one, and check out the other relevant resources listed in the description below. All right, let's get started. So, the power of AI. We know it is incredibly valuable to uh, consumers and developers. And when we talk about developers, when we are talking about creating applications, we are focused on how we can create those applications quickly so we can start bringing value uh, to those who are gonna be using that application, right? Now, when we are creating those applications, a lot of the times the questions kind of going through our minds is, will this work? Is it going to work the way I intend it to? How will this look with data? Now, when we start getting into those questions, we start saying to ourselves, okay, I'm probably gonna need to create sample data in order to populate a lot of my interfaces and a lot of my forms and see exactly how my application is going to work with data in it, right? Now, in order to do that, you would either have to do it manually manually add data into your database tables directly into your application. Maybe you use a different type of generation tool, but using the power of AI and AI Copilot and Appian, you can have that done for you in just a few clicks. Let's take a look and see how we can do that. All right, so here we are in our record type. You'll notice it says vehicle data. So this is gonna be a record type that contains vehicles. And you'll also notice it has a one to many relationship to our vehicle maintenance data record type. So we have vehicles and maintenances. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and populate these record types with sample data. Now I could manually do it, find different kind of generation tools to add data directly to the tables in the database. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and use generate sample data right here on the record type. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here, generate sample data. Now we do have the option of choosing which related record types that we use in this generation uh, tool. I have it selected. I'm just gonna keep it selected to use my vehicle maintenance data as well. Scroll down here and hit next. And then as we pop on over into our generation tool, you will notice we have some options on the right hand side uh, to choose how we want to uh, configure this and generate that sample data. You'll also notice that it just goes ahead and populates some sample data readily for us. And I could just hit insert and then bam, my sample data is now inserted into my record type. But as you'll notice, we have some vehicle data already here, 2024 Toyota Corolla created on 5-31-2024 but you'll also notice they're all saying created on 531, 2024. So what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and get a, a prompt that I've already created. And down here on the right hand side, I'm just gonna go ahead and include that prompt. Some additional instructions uh, for AI Copilot and Generative AI to use uh, to uh, configure what kind of data I would like it to generate. So I'm just gonna say include random created on dates, avoid created on dates older than 2020, and the vehicle years should be older than the created on years. So I'll hit refresh all data. We can now see the results that all the created on dates are now randomized. Uh, we can see that they are following some of the rules that we included in the additional instructions, so that's awesome. I can also see the vehicle years have been updated, 2023, 2022, 2021. So it looks like it's going down in years, which is fine, because uh, this is just sample data that I need to populate into my uh, record types to see exactly how my application will work. Now on the left-hand side here, I also have that one-to-many relationship over to my maintenance data record type. And we have a very similar situation here where it went ahead and created uh, maintenance uh, issues for uh, some of these vehicles. Now, what I am noticing here is that they're all oil change, so that's not very exciting. Um, and I can also see that it's generating one 
base or one record for each base record. I wanted to go ahead and create three for every base record, uh, just so we can add some additional uh, maintenance uh, issues into this record type. But I also want to include some additional instructions here, just to kind of give it some um, ver some variety in the de issue descriptions that we include. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and copy over a, a prompt that I generated earlier. Randomize created on dates, include customer states at the beginning of all maintenance issues and include a recommended fix, right? Now the prompt that you give, right, will kind of determine what sample data you get back. So play around with it, see how you can uh, create a prompt to get what kind of data that you're looking for in your sample data. and here we have the results. So customer states, check engine light is on, customer states, AC is not blowing cold air, and it looks like we have random created on dates as well. Perfect. So we have sample data for vehicles and we have sample data for maintenance. They both look good. I'm gonna go ahead and say insert. And with just that one click, all of that data is now passed into those record types, populating those uh, objects with data. And so now I can use that data in my interfaces, in my processes, in my reports, and confirm that everything that I've been building, or better yet, as I am building, I will have data that I can use to verify that everything is working and in order. All right. That's it for today. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell to be notified, and I'll see you guys in the next one.